Ladies and gentlemen, g -g 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 upper girls and boys, I switched the style up there, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see it? Did you see it? Quick Hall of Fame verification check. I know you've seen that as we jump into this game against the Utah Jazz. I don't know why I went into Snoop Dogg uh, mode slash voice. We are backing down whoever that is, going up and knocking down a bit of a hook shot. Not much of a hook shot, but a bit of a hook shot. Just a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. And yeah. The Utah Jazz, this team is a pretty decent team in the game. I don't know how well they're performing in real life, but in NBA 2K and 2K Logic, when a team is decent, they are pretty much a beast in team. I mean, for instance, the Jazz, they always seem to give me a hard time, and I think my first loss, or my fourth loss in the game ever, because we've only lost four times throughout the whole my career game process, came at the hands of the Utah Jazz. I don't know why, but they're just really good. I don't know what it is. I mean, Ennis Cantor, this dude looks like Nax. If you know, if you have a PlayStation 4 and you got the bundle pack, which gives you the game called Nax or Nack. I don't know if it's Nax or Nack, but Ennis Cantor and this guy look like a spitting image. They look very much alike and it's just hilarious because whenever I'm playing the Utah Jazz, Ennis Cantor is marking me up. It's like, oh, here comes Nack. And uh, that's actually an okay game. Like, I would say it's an okay game. I wouldn't buy it, but if it came with the bundle pack, which mine did, it's pretty decent. Get out of here, Knack. Not today, young fella. I was trying not to go in a Dikembe Mutsambo voice, backing down my opponent, who was Knack. Shot fake, going up, trying to finish that basket, but we get that rebound nonetheless, and we're finishing the basket once again, nonetheless. Running back on defense, because you know we gotta play defense. Because if you don't play defense, you don't win games. Simple answer. Going up and throwing down on Mr. Knack Man himself. Ennis Cantor. I'm pretty sure that's Ennis Cantor. Going up, throwing down. And uh, I don't know why. I think that's the sweeper. I was about to call him the ball boy. He's just standing there. Trey Burke. This guy is a straight up freak in this game. I mean, he does not miss any three-point shots. If you remember watching back in the rookie... Uh, Sophomore, well, it's not called the sophomore game. Oh my goodness, Chris. Ice Cube, you are needed. It is time for the Sprite Slam. Damn! Ooh-wee. Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. And it ain't even Friday. Hee-hee. <laughs> that hee-hee <laughs> was a little extra added on part. Going up, trying to finish that basket. And what was I talking about? Oh, yes. Trey Burke. Freaking nature. If you remember watching back in the rookie game, which is now called the... All-Stars versus the Elites. He was not missing a three ball that I kept dishing. When I was down in the post, I would get double, I'd kick it out to him, and he wouldn't miss the three shot. It was ridiculous. But hey, that's just the way he is. But he extremely sucks badly. That's that's the correct term to use. Extremely sucks badly. Not <laughs> sucks extremely badly. Because that makes no sense. Neither did that last statement. Shut up. Anyway, he sucks really bad at free throws. Which is really weird. I mean, how can you have a three-point range shot and not be able to, like, step in a couple more feet? Because the free throw line is just, what, 15 feet away from the hoop? The three-pointer, I think, NBA three-pointer is about 23 and a half feet away. That's at the very top of the key. I think the side area is about 22 feet. Uh, kicking out to Nick Batumo. I thought should have shot that from the 22-foot freaking three-point shot he didn't want to do it but this is fantastic ball movement here look at Wesley Matthews is open giving it giving it I was about to say giggity giving it back to me and I'm giving it back to him and he's gonna knock down that three ball he went splish splash bubble bath Nellis fall three clean behind your ears because it gets dirty back there and we're gonna go up in this guy's face that sounded quite nasty but we're gonna give it to Lamarcus Aldridge and he's gonna finish that he would go on to having a fairly decent game he would finish with a double-double, 29 points, I think 14 rebounds. Get out of here, yo fella. And we're dashing back up court, and this man right here, Damian Lillard, he would contribute 19 of those points. And who do we see down low? Mr. Lamarcus Aldridge, who is just going to kick it right back to us, and we will finish that basket right there. You see the lead is pretty, uh, it's a pretty big lead right now. I think it's 21 points, and uh, we're just going to keep trying to increase it. I'm trying to dance on him real quick, doing some of that Kevin Durant crossover, crossover, size up move. It working out, so we're gonna go back down the post and hit him with that fadeaway, which manages to go down real cool and smooth like. 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. My voice just changes way too much. I have got some weird things going on there, but we're going to knock down this. I think this should have been a dunk. In all honesty, I think if you manage to create that space and you're that close to the hoop, you go up and you throw down. But uh, <laughs> it actually reminds me of something that happened to me the other day. There was a certain play, well, you'll see it in the next video, actually, the next My Career video, where we go up against uh, the, the I was about to say the Toronto Raptors. Why do I keep saying the Toronto Raptors? I really don't know that. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Why, why do I keep saying that? I mean, I keep getting Portland mixed up with Toronto as well, which is just, how? How, how do you do that? <laughs> but yeah, we go up against the Minnesota Timberwolves and Jackson Ellis, the rival. And let's just say that is a performance for the ages. For the ages. For the ages of NBA 2K, that is. You'll see the performance. If you want to see that performance, I know you'll probably be like, oh, something's gone down now. Well, something did go down. You will see it. I don't know when I'll release it, actually. I was thinking about releasing either uh, Thursday or Friday. I'll let you guys decide that because I have another My Team video and another, uh, well, not another, but I have a Kobe Bryant My GM video that I want to release either tomorrow. Then I'll release the My Team video. Then I'll release the My Career video. But I don't know how it'll go. I'll, I'll see. I'll probably differ around, see what happens. And there was another question I was meaning to ask you. Yeah, that was it, the question. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a question and answer series where I'll just try and bring you, like, kind of a short comedy sketch while showing gameplay uh, of you guys that's just, you know, asking me questions and I'll try and answer them. So if you want to do that, let me know. And if you do want to do that, just uh, type in question and answers question or something like that I don't know something along the lines so if you have a question just post it in the comment section below if I get enough questions like I'd say about mm, what five or six questions I'll make a Q&A video or if I get more I don't know a couple of people say yeah make a Q&A video I'll do it no problem and we're gonna go down running back to the basket not back to the basket we're actually running towards the basket there's Nax himself and his canter sending us to the free throw line where we will knock down them free throws I did go on to switching the free throws up to uh, Tim Duncan's release which is very nice I have to admit it's such a such a smooth release such a flawless release it's actually worked out pretty well I was averaging about I think 90% with it which is you know something I would keep on to oh my goodness let me replay that back for you in slow motion cam right there he decided to go up, and when we thought we were going to get blocked, we kind of cocked it back down and threw it. And he couldn't stop us. Sorry, Knack. You need to work on your defense, homie. Going inside, kicking out to Damian Lillard. Didn't work out so well, but we're going up and throwing down nonetheless. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. The area, area, aerial acrobatics continue with this flush right there. We should have kicked it out. I seen Nick Batum in the corner open, and I know he was one nip, so I'm going to give it to him there. He unfortunately misses. He'll get his own rebound going up and finishing that basket nonetheless. And, you know, we get managed to get, like, the ball swatted from us somehow. I mean, like, wow, what, geez, wowzers, how's this meant to happen? Going back down and trying to knock that uh, hook shot. Didn't work out so well, but it did kind of work out well because we get sent to the free throw line regardless. And, you know, All-Star Weekend is coming up pretty soon. I mean, it's nearly February. That's when the All-Star event happens. Get out of here. And I want to know, who have you guys voted to be your starting five? Well, not your starting five, but uh, I don't think the bench five has been revealed yet. I could be wrong if they have, but I want to know who was your lineup. Who did you pick? And let me know that in the comments section below. I'm going up finishing that basket. And uh, this game kind of ends a bit, I don't know if I want to say abruptly, because I don't know if that's the correct word to use. But it ends about roughly at this point, because we block in this can once, we block him twice. And this is the clip which I'm talking about right here. Actually, we block him three times. What am I saying? We got an over-the-back call, I think, or I think I fouled him. And we just get sent to the bench. And I think it's fairly obvious we're going to attempt to hold off the Utah Jazz. And that is the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave you with the game stats right here. The Utah Jazz keep getting them checks. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vine. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. A lot. Till next time, peace to you. Enjoy your day. Well, you ended up with 54 points.
Just unbelievable the way you were able to dominate offensively out there. Would you say this is one of your better games as a pro? Anytime you can drop over 50, there's a pretty good chance it was one of your better games. So yeah, I'd say tonight's game qualifies. Everything just felt good, you know? My shot was falling, I was getting the ball in the right spots, I was able to create a fair amount on my own, and of course, we won the game. Can't ask for much more than that.